Hello, this is sample language uh, to conduct contract ratification by an online ballot with option to cast a site ballot. And the, that option to cast a site ballot is distinct, distinct from the other option that we have, which is the option to cast a mail ballot. Now, um, I'm only going to read the option to cast a site ballot because this is the most popular with other uh, local unions and was recommended to us by the person who uh, emailed us this language, Deanna Craig, um, the executive director of CSEA. Here we go. Uh, per CSA policy 610, when choosing online balloting as a method of voting, the chapter must give the members an option to cast a ballot by mail or cast a ballot at a site, and that's that ballot at a site option that I was referring to. <clears throat> revise, revise Article 8, Section 4 as follows. Section 4, Ratification Process, um, parag um, Section A, a copy of the tentative agreement or a summary of the tentative agreement shall be provided each C CSEA member of the bargaining units, unit or units, prior to the to the contract information meeting, the negotiating committee shall include a statement recommending ratification of the agreement. If a summary only is provided, copies of the tentative agreement containing the exact language of the proposal shall be provided for review at the meeting. Section B. The chapter president shall set the date, time, and place for a one, a more con for, okay, for, um, for a more for for more contract information meeting, which shall be open to attendance by all employees with the bar with bargaining unit or units, whether or not they are CSEA members. Uh, section C, notice of the contract information meetings or meeting or meetings shall be issued to all bargaining unit employees no later than five working days in advance of the scheduled date. Distribution of said meeting notice or notices shall be at the discretion of the chapter president utilizing any of of the following methods, which is the, which it determines to be the most effective. One, the individual bargaining unit employees employees utilizing the U.S. mail or empl employer's mail system. Two, distribution of site representatives or others. Three, posting a prominent location at each work site. Exception to the above. The association, the association's uh, executive director or designee, shall approve a notice period of less than five working days upon request of the chapter president, if it is deemed an ex, uh, expedited ratification is advisable. If it is deemed an expedited ratification is advisable. Uh, section D, Co uh, conduct of informational meetings or meeting. One, the negotiation committee shall review the, the provisions of the tentative agreement as indicate, uh, and indicate its recommendations for ratification. Two, the association recommend, recommends rejection of the tentative agreement. The association representative shall be in attendance at the meeting and shall be and be provided ample opportunity to outline the recommendation for rejection of the reasons therefore. Three, adequate opportunity for discussion, debate, and answering of questions shall be provided. Non-CSEA members of the bargaining unit or units in attendance shall be granted the right to participate in the discussion and debate. They shall not, however, have the right to make motions or vote. Section E, ratification 
vote. The ratification vote shall be online balloting following the informational meeting or meetings. The chapter election committee shall oversee the ratification process and conduct a vote tally. All procedural matters relating to the online balloting process and tally shall be conducted in accordance with the association with association policy 610. 2. The election committee shall request an online ballot from the CSEA election department. Upon verification that the online ballot is available, the election committee shall prepare the ballot notice, a ballot notice. Each notice shall include the appropriate information needed to cast an online ballot, such as the dates of balloting, instructions on how to access the online ballot via the internet, uh, the members' um, identification and password code, and the option to vote by paper ballot. Three, the chapter president shall set the dates for online balloting, which shall begin no sooner than the, than the day after final informational meeting. The final information meeting. The online balloting shall be available on the same day the ballot notice is distributed and shall remain upon up until shall remain open until the date set is set to close. Four. The ballot notice shall be set at least 10 calendar days in advance for the date set on for online balloting to close. Notice must be mailed via U.S. First Class Mail to each CSA, CSEA member to, to, in good standing employed in the bargaining unit in units at his or her last known home address, except that notice except that notice may be emailed to such members who have an email address on file with the chapter. Five, members, um, members employed in the bargaining unit shall be given um, the option to vote by, by paper ballot at the designated site, sites. Subsection I. The election, six, 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 subsection one, the election committee shall set the deadline for request of ballot, of paper ballot, which shall not be less than five calendar days prior to the date set for online balloting to close. Subsection two, the elections committee shall immediately, uh, inactivate a member online balloting upon receipt of a timely request for a paper ballot. Subsection 3. If required, the chapter executive board shall schedule a time and place for a paper ballot balloting which shall be held at, a, at some point during the last four days of online balloting. Subsection 4. A paper ballot and instructions for completion shall be furnished at the de designated location polling place determined by the executive board. The period of voting for paper ballot shall be determined by the executive board and must occur at the, the at some point during the period of time online voting is taking place. The, the ballot must be submitted before leaving the designated location slash polling place. Subsection 5. At least two tellers shall be appointed to conduct the balloting at each site. Listing um, of members in good standing eligible to vote for each designated site shall be provided to tellers. Section 6. Members of the bargaining units, unit or units joining CSEA after the ballot has been uh, have been mailed, but prior to the deadline set for ret for return, shall upon request be given a ballot and return envelope at at the time they submit the membership application and and dues payment. If sufficient time remains to post the completed ballot for receipt, 
by the elections committee chair by the deadline. Section 7. At least two tellers shall be appointed to oversee the election process, uh, retrieve the results on the online balloting, and tally any paper ballots cast. Section 8. It shall require a majority of votes cast to ratify. The results of the balloting shall be provided to the membership no later than five days following the vote tally and shall be announced the next chapter meeting. And that is the end of the sample language to conduct contract ratification on, by online balloting with the option to cast a site ballot. Um, and, that's the and this is the official reading. Thank you.